Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom. And we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of cancer for the month of February 2023. So before we begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone back to this monthly series. I know it's been quite a long time. Um, and also I'd like to welcome anyone who's new to our Angelic Wisdom community. And so before we begin, I just want to make sure that you remember to subscribe, uh, select the all notification bell, like, dislike. Um, also leave comments. This is a really important part of being in this community because I call it in the I am presence of everyone's soul and their team of ascension working with them so that the information that we are receiving is coming from the collective I am presence of each and every one of us. So all of this pool of wisdom is what I am honored to and privileged to be able to um, translate and bring forth. So this means that if something strikes you throughout the reading, great clarity or in, or an insight, um, in sharing that insight, you complete this reading for, for others. And also this works with our concept of oneness, that we are no longer just thinking about ourselves, what we can receive, but what we can all receive. And your input and comments does fulfill that in this context of uh, um, community. So really think about that if something really, you know, um, just was so inspiring to you, please share, even if you think you're just reiterating, but it will inevitably come out in a way that is unique to your um, perspective. And, and that might be the way that somebody can clearly hear it. Also, I'd like to just make you aware that if you're looking for an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services, and you can select for this month um, the first time angel reading promotion, which is available um, to everyone, and you can use it at any time, okay? Also, if you just like to contribute to my channel, you can select my PayPal me link, which you will also find in the description area below. So all of these things will be, um, the links will be there. And finally, um, I just want to make sure that you've seen the general monthly angel reading, and I will include the link to that reading um, for the month of February 2023. So check that out, um, especially to go along with your personal um, angel scope or your this general angel scope and now let's take our attention to the format here so the cards the card in the center will be a message from an archangel or a, a type of angel um, that will be giving us a message for you this month the cards on the left and right will be a message from your guardian angel one from the major arcana and the other the minor arcana so the major arcana is going to highlight the message from your guardian angel and the angels that represents the major lesson theme or energies that are influencing your experiences in this month and then the minor arcana lesson is going to highlight the ways that that's you might see that showing up for you and how you can work with it so let's take a deep breath together. And just have a sense of opening your heart. And just letting the 
energy and the love flow through you and out into the world and out all around you in your own energy field. Just letting your own soul's medicine, spiritual medicine, just ignite your energy. And the message that I was seeing as I was coming, um, meditating beforehand was home. So um, there may be, and I've been seeing Archangel Raphael as well. So there might be some, um, first of all, healing or some kind of something in your home that you've been praying for, um, whether it's for a loved one or for yourself physically. Um, it could be, I'm seeing the word empowerment. So there might be some kind of um, empowerment healing that takes place for you and within your home. It, it could be, your home could represent yourself, your soul, um, awakening in some way or coming out of some um, difficulty. And just seeing the word light as if um, light will be coming into your, your soul, into your home um, to help bring new waves of abundance, but they wrote prosperity. And um, just so the word youthful as if um, there might be a, sort of a, this sort of reinvigorates life for you and you have sort of have this youthful attitude or or um outlook on life again so you'll feel like you're sort of reconnecting um potentially with aspirations you either had in the past or you'll just feel hopeful um about particular goals in your life as if, you know, um, maybe before you were sort of seeing things as you're stuck you're in this dead end situation because you have all these responsibilities and and somehow now you have this hope, well, you know, I can start over again. I can um, rebuild here. It's not the end, you know, you, like the, 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 your thinking will change and that'll be useful to you. Oh, wonderful. And we have Archangel Haniel, whose um, message says, seek soul satisfaction, fan a flame of inner happiness. And so this really uh, um, is really appropriate here because Archangel Haniel, um, if you really focus on something that you truly desire and that you're passionate about, and then once you're clear about that, you ask Archangel Haniel to fan the flames of your desire so that you can create something that brings happiness and fulfillment in your life. Then you give her permission to do that. And what you need to do is sort of stand back, not as say do nothing, but stand back in terms of being an observer in terms of your awareness and your intuition and follow, trust the, the, the guidance that you're being given or the inspiration that you're receiving, trust it and go with it, okay? But it definitely says that you're seeking, you're aligning your heart with soul, with the things that satisfy your soul. And this might have been something you thought that you just couldn't afford the luxury of, uh, you know, thinking this way or doing this. But now with this new mindset of prosperity, which Archangel Raphael is working with you, um, you find this possible. And he was writing something about an astrological. So... Um, there might be something coming up in your uh, chart, your 
in, in, in terms of astrology that might facilitate this, okay? So just be aware that there's some kind of astrological um, aspect that is creating this kind of uh, new awareness and possibilities. Let's look at what energy you're working with this month. So it's the hermit. And in this case, I'm going to, the, the, what I'm getting a sense of is that you want to, um, I don't want to say you want to withdraw, but in a way you do, the, the sense I'm getting is that you want to like sort of um, conserve your energy. Um in, in terms of letting it be sort of scattered. So uh, cancer, you know, you tend to like, you know, really family is huge to you and, and, and you're very empathic and you um, sort of like a caretaker. And that can, you know, have your energy going out there um, in different different things and then not having enough for your own priorities and goals. So this advice for you in this month is that you've got to be more conservative about your your obligations, which means, yes, you're going to have to say no. You're going to have to have clear boundaries for yourself. So it's, it's not about setting boundaries in terms of what, you know, that you have to say no to other people, but it's the things you have to tell yourself no to. You have to be clear about that there are some changes that, that they're writing there were changes. There's some changes you need to make in how you put yourself out there. And then you need to have clear boundaries for you so that when somebody asks you, can you do this? You will know that you can't. Or you will understand that that's more than what you should obligate yourself to. Those kind of clear boundaries will start over time to create a new dynamic so that people won't come to you because you will have more, your energy will be more balanced. It'll be more, um, you know, conservative in a way that the things that your priorities are what you'll find yourself connecting with, the goals and things that you really um, that things that really satisfy your soul is what you'll um, be attracting to you. You won't have to struggle to, um, you know, have people not ask you to do that one more thing that you just don't want to have to do, right? So this is a, 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 a like a big lesson more for you, this lesson of learning to conserve your energy, to set boundaries for yourself based on the changes that you have decided you need to make because you're just you're giving away too much energy. You want to be there for those that, you want to be there in the ways that really matter to you, to others. I'm not telling you to cut people off, but it's to be there in the ways that really matter to you. The things that really, um, that that where you can really be helpful. You just don't want to be there like for every situation where your kind of love is just something that's going to be taken advantage of, right? And then you don't feel like you accomplished anything, that you don't really feel like that you've helped. You feel like you've been roped into something that now you need rescuing from. So how this might show up in your your day-to-day -day awareness, here we have the page of Earth, sort of this the page of earth kind of comes across as this student of, uh, of, of life. Um, someone who is um, interested in learning new things. And especially um, as it pertains to career goals or whatever that might be. So for instance, <clears throat> whatever the changes that you're going to be making for yourself, um, and the goals that you're making a priority for yourself, you know, you know, there's think about some of the things that you can be doing um, because this is a part of you know conserving your energy and setting boundaries. So it's this feeling of okay, 
you know, be clear about what this goal is. And then what are some of the things, what it's going to take for you to be able to achieve this goal? Um, and they're sort of indicating here that there might be some some training or some some research or studying up or brushing up on something, right? And you need to make sure that you have time for that. So when you obligate, when somebody says, oh, can you help me? It's like, N I really have this to do. You don't have to explain yourself to people. It's just like, no, I'm, I just don't have time right now. But you will know why and it'll be easy for you to say it. So don't don't tell people why you can't do it. Just say, yeah, I, I can't. Just keep the answer simple so that no questions can be asked that ropes you in. <laughs> but when you say, no, I'm really busy right now, the that for most people, that's enough. But once you start telling them why you're busy, then they start picking at it. You, you know what I mean? So, so, and then you're, then you get talked out of or talked into something. So this, you know, even if you're, you're what you need to time, to devote your time to, doesn't require you to go back and, and learn something, but it could be um, something as this word pre prepared strikes me, you know, you might need time to organize yourself or get prepared for something. And you know, that's going to take time. But now that you have kind of mapped out what that is for yourself, that by mapping it out, um, what you think the strategy or the plan or the timeline will be, you can honestly say, I'm busy. The end. Right? All right. So this is beautiful. And I feel like you could, this is something achievable for you. Um, cancers. So have a beautiful month of February and God bless you.